Lumo alumni have no confidence in leadership. There it is. Lincoln University's Alum Association has issued a statement of no confidence in the HBCU's board of curators, pictured right there. After it reinstated President John Mosley, who was on paid administrative leave while under investigation following the death of school administrator. It's a heartbreaking story. University alum and Vice President of Student Affairs, Antoinette Bonnie Candia Bailey took her own life January 8th. Candia Bailey had accused Mosley of bullying, harassment, discrimination, and a letter obtained by ABC News following her death. She was terminated shortly before her death. Statement from Lincoln University Alumni Association reads, this decision implodes the very fabric of healing and institutions dire need to re- for recovery and wellness. This decision will continue to fester an open wound of hopelessness and despondency. No individual is above the health and well-being of the university. ABC News with the reporting. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. An investigation led by attorney Ron Norwood at Lewis Rice LLC, who is a member of the governing board and was the past board president of an HBCU found, quote, no claims of bullying by the university president can be substantiated and reinstated Mosley to the position. Some students and alumni have protested that decision to reinstate the president and are calling for a separate investigation. The LUAA is also calling for the board of curators to vacate their seats, claiming they have brought forward irrevocable harm, shame, hopelessness, mortification to the campus. The board has not yet returned ABC News's request for comment on this statement of no confidence. I can only go by my experience, and maybe that's not fair, Jackson. But when I hear a certain law firm is picked, there are certain people with certain backgrounds, I don't know it to be true, but I do wonder. I wonder if the fix is in. So this is what I wonder. I, again, my opinion, not saying it was, but was this woman just making it up in full despair? At some point, she was qualified enough to get the job and keep it. What happened here? And why should we just move on? Well, I think that, you know, the the fine line in the sand is that she took her life. You know, I mean, that's not a that's not a small thing. That's not something that people just necessarily willing to do. Uh, People can be for years and not do it. Sometimes people make attempts, but to actually go through with it, um, you really got to be feeling a certain type of way uh, of hopelessness and like there's just no point in going on. So I think that by itself really just erases the idea that she's just making it up or being ridiculous. Because as you pointed out, she clearly was qualified enough to be in the position that she was. She's a dark skinned black woman. They wouldn't have just put it there for no reason. You know what I mean? Like she wouldn't have just been there for no reason whatsoever. Um, I I think, but I I think that uh, you're right in pointing out that depending on who you can hire, uh, people may look to bury certain type of information to just keep the opportunity forward. 100%. But um, I think the fact that this woman's life is lost is going to make that uh, pretty difficult to do. And it just feels like, let's let's say they're right. I don't know that my journalistic radar is hitting on that. I don't know that to be true. It just doesn't seem reasonable. Where's the empathy? I just don't feel like there's empathy for a life loss, regardless of who's accused, where you sit, what's left behind. She is gone. And the way she's gone, too. Like, it wasn't like she didn't die in a car accident. She wasn't like terminally ill. So it wasn't something that people kind of were preparing for or expecting. Um, that's one of the worst ways that people can go um, because it, it, it goes it goes against your nature. So for mm-hmm. you to for you to do that, you really got to be down bad. Yeah. So it, that that it, it's it's tragic. Yeah. Well, we, um, we're going to keep following the story and apparently the student body and certain alum are not, not letting it go. And so we got to see how it plays out. But I'm always for transparency wherever it takes us. 
Really am.